Hello my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, how you doing? I hope that you're having a fabulous day and you're good to go for our video. If this is your first time here at my channel, my name is Chloe, I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights. Can I ask that if that is you and you've never been here before, before we go any further into the video, you click subscribe and you ring the bell. By doing so, that means that my next unboxing or beauty video will land directly in your inbox as soon as it's uploaded, so you won't miss a single video. It's also the only way to be entered into all of my upcoming competitions for the festive period. Period. In today's video I am unboxing the Charlotte Tilbury Black Friday mystery box which is always one of my favourite videos to make. You guys absolutely love seeing inside these mystery boxes and I don't blame you because they are epic. However, they are only available for a limited time. Now initially the, the Charlotte Tilbury boxes, you only got them on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, that was the only time. I think then they realised the popularity of them because now we get summer ones and we get um, like a Boxing Day sale one as well. So they're kind of scattered through the year now, so they're not just like a one-off, so you don't have to wait a full year to get them. Obviously you can't now get this, I still love to unbox it with you, but the link should stay the same. So if you want to kind of keep checking back on the link over Christmas, maybe it will be uploaded when they do get um, the new ones for the Boxing Day sale in. So keep an eye on the link if you want to pick one up. But I still thought it'd be super fun to show you inside. You guys still love seeing inside these boxes even when they're no longer available because it is just really fun. Mystery boxes are some of my favourite videos to do because I never know what's inside. So I'm always as intrigued to find out as you guys are. Now the details about this mystery box, it was a Charlotte's Magic Icons box. So apparently it should feature iconic products. There's supposed to be nine in there and they're all full sizes. The total value of the box is over 255 pounds but I got it for 125 so over 50% off in a saving which is pretty cool for Charlotte Tilbury. Now over the Black Friday holiday um, sales they also had a special offer where if you spent over 80 pounds you got two full-size products so I got the luxury palette this is Walk of Shame which is absolutely beautiful and on its own worth over 40 pounds epic right and then I also got one of my favorite lipsticks this is the hot lips and this is um, glowing gen it's the perfect nude I actually have it I've really run down the bullet there was very little left so I was super stoked when I saw that this was one I could pick as my free gift so I grabbed that was like that's a no-brainer so I paid 125 pounds for nine products in here plus got two other full sizes and a couple of samples too which is why these mystery boxes are always extra good value so I know that you want to see inside guys let's dive in to the unboxing Oh my god, I'm excited. I'm more excited about this edit than the last mystery box I did from Charlotte Tilbury, which was the summer, I think. I can already see some things in here that are making me get super excited. I'm going to pull it straight out because this one, this is what I want to find in my mystery box. We have full-size Charlotte's Magic Cream. Now, in the last mystery box, we got the light version, which was lovely, but it just didn't do for me what the original does, and I love Charlotte's Magic Cream. It is one of my favourite day moisturisers, and I'll tell you why, guys, because it works amazingly as a makeup primer as well. It is fantastic at keeping things hydrated but it also just makes me feel like my makeup holds just a little bit better in the way any good primer would this is the 30 mil size so i'm super excited that we've got a full size product in there of that as well thumbs up first one out nailed it Okie dokie, next up we have got the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops. i love this eyeshadow palette i mean Pillow Talk is like the most iconic range ever from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't think they'll ever be able to beat it and it is absolutely beautiful. It's got lots of pinky tones in there. All four of these are shimmers so there's no mattes in there so perfect for party season and Christmas. Lots of shimmery eye looks you can make with that but obviously you have got some lighters and some darkers in there to kind of create your crease transition and your lid. Okay, next up we have got the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. This is the five star mascara. Now this is the older mascara. Um, I think it's the pillow. Is it Pillow Talk? The pink one. I use that quite regularly. Now I know that some people have been like mm, not the best with Charlotte Tilbury mascaras. The trick is to use a primer. Now I use um, an Urban Decay primer. It's just a white one. And then when I put my Charlotte Tilbury mascaras over the top, guys, that's the trick. It goes up in volume intensely in minutes like it's just that's the trick use a good eyelash primer um, and then put the mascara on and you should be totally stoked and good to go obviously full size again so very versatile there next up we've got pillow talk cheek to chick this is the swish and glow one now these usually come in shades i thought like depth um but it just says pillow talk on this one so maybe pillow talk is just its own shade but that is beautiful and pillow talk suits me because it just works with my complexion i love it you've got kind of like the 
the blush on the outside and then the highlight on the inside now it is shimmered all the way through so if you don't like shimmery um, finishes in your blushes then this probably wouldn't be for you I don't usually go for that but I do like Charlotte Tilbury and I do like the tones of Pillow Talk so I'm very excited to try this again I have used it before I did like it but I just it wasn't an everyday thing for me because as an oily skin person anything with too much shimmer can make me look worse but I do like the colour and the way this looks on my complexion okie dokie next up we have got this is the lip cheat um, iconic nude lip liner love this I've got lots of nude lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury full size that's going to go with pretty much all of them guys like I don't think you can go wrong with a nude look uh, a nude lip even when I wear like pinky lipsticks I still sometimes line my lips with a nude look uh, a nude liner just because it just helps to emphasize the pink in my lips um, so you can literally mix it up but love that one as well okay now we've got the rock and coal this is the bedroom black eyeliner again totally versatile gonna throw it out there and say about this box not one product have I picked up and been like I can't use that or I don't like it I they've put actual usable colors in there it's not like they've got crazy liners um, with shades that you're never going to use I am loving this box I'm going to say it I'm going to throw it out I usually save those statements for the end but I'm loving it okay next up we've got pillow talk diamonds I've got this already this is the lucky diamonds it's like a sparkly lip topper you can use it like as a lip gloss by itself if you want to but I I mean I'm wearing one today it's not the Charlotte Tilbury one but I always Always use lip toppers because they're basically not quite as sticky as a gloss but a little bit shimmery as well so it's a way of like transforming matte lipsticks if you like me don't go for a matte look those ones are perfect I love it it lasts for ages it looks very pretty very shimmery just catches the light on your lips so they look a little bit fuller which I like to think anyway but I love that absolutely love it next up we have got a Charlotte Tilbury kissing this is the kissing lipstick fallen from the lipstick tree stoned rose do I have this I feel like I do yeah I do have this color but it is beautiful it's more of an orange nude not that it looks orange but it's not a brown nude or a pink nude it's more of like a terracotta nude so if you like that kind of look you'll like that I haven't worn mine too much um, but it is a nice tone it's just a little bit too dark for me and orange tones on my skin just don't really work um, for me it's just my complexion is too cool toned but it's still a lovely lipstick it's just I've already got it so I'll probably give that one to somebody else okay and then last but not least we have got the tinted love lip and cheek tint now this is actually one product from Charlotte Tilbury I have not tried so I'm very excited about this um this shade is blushed rose I love the look of that it's like a nude I'm not going to say that I mean it looks like it looked lovely on the lips but I'm not entirely sure I'd wear that on the cheeks it's just a little bit too nude it would just not work you need pink if you're wearing a blush but it's a lovely tone and I haven't used this product before so I'm always eager to try any things out from Charlotte Tilbury because they have so many products I just can't keep up all of the time so guys there we have it that is the Charlotte Tilbury mystery box for Black Friday 2021 completely unboxed what do you guys think about this one please let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, my thoughts are this I love it I really really do there's bar the last one which I wouldn't use on my cheeks I'm going to use everything in this box like everything in here the colors are my kind of tones they're very versatile they're very usable I don't think that there's anyone who's not going to be able to use or enjoy them I also love that we got those other two full-size products as well so rather than the nine products I actually got 11 for 125 pounds which is still a lot of money but when you work that out that's like just 10 pounds a product around do you know my mouth is awful uh, but you know what i'm saying it's not a lot for charlotte tilbury products which like the palettes are like 40 50 pounds on their own so to me these boxes are great value and i love the curated edit of products in this one this one just it does it for me it's everything i want in a good mystery box as mentioned i will bookmark the i will put the link and you can bookmark it in the description box to keep an eye on it but hopefully the next one will be black friday and um, black friday boxing day that's what i meant um if there are any more obviously keep an eye on my community page you need to be subscribed to my channel you'll get notifications there so as soon as I find out that the next mystery box from Charlotte Tilbury is live I will pop the link in there for you so make sure you are subscribed if you want to keep up to date other than that guys thank you so much for watching today's video I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I have and I will look forward to seeing you very very soon for my next one bye